Hello, Chibi Chop Shoppers. It's Trav here, coming to you not so live from my splitting and repair station here at the Chop Shop. Today I'm bringing you a short video on a very important subject. Think of it, you've just finished a photo shoot or maybe putting a new outfit on your best girl or boy, and the unthinkable happens. A neck joint snaps. It's a sad reality, but neck joints break, especially old ones. But how to get those pesky little bits out without marring up the body? Well, worry not. With a few easy steps and the right tools, your Nendos will be right back to work doing what they do best, looking cute. First, we're going to need a few basic tools and one not-so-basic one. Beyond the standard pair of pliers, you're going to need a rotary tool. Not everyone has these lying around like a hammer or a screwdriver, but they are pretty inexpensive and you can get a basic kit online for about $10 to $15. Links below. This tool is indispensable if you plan on doing any customization. The other bit you'll need is, well, a drill bit. One that's about half the thickness of a neck joint. The whole reason for all this trouble is because you simply can't get a grip on the peg or manage to pry it out without damaging the body. So instead, we're going to drill through the neck joint and yank it out like a bad tooth. The tool I use for this part is a small threaded bit that came in my rotary tool kit. It's designed for something else entirely, but it works great for this. In a pinch, though, a small screw from your junk drawer will work just as well. So now it's drilling time. I hold the rotary tool with the bit end pointing down for better control, and I'm able to extend my fingers on the other hand to brace against my arm if I need a little more exacting control. The key is to get the hole drilled quickly and in the center of the peg. The longer the bit is in there, the more the plastic heats up and melts and can damage the neck joint socket. Once you feel the tip of the bit get a good bite, give it a good solid push through until you feel it pop through to the other side. And there you have it. A centered, nice clean drill hole in the neck joint. Well, maybe not so clean anyway. Next, we grab our threaded bit, or small screw, and we thread it into the hole. Just twist it finger tight. The pliers will do the rest. Then we grab hold of our pliers, give it a solid quarter turn, get a good hold, and... Ah, that's satisfying. And if you got the drill bit centered right, you'll have a nice clean joint socket and no major damage. Don't worry if it drills through slightly off center and the drill scrapes the inside of the socket a little. As long as it's not severe, it won't be seen once you get the new peg in and the new peg will still fit snugly. So then out with the old and in with the new, as they say, remove the old neck joint coupler if this is an older Nendoroid, you may have to repeat this process to remove the peg from the faceplate too. That This process is pretty much the same. So, now we have a nice fresh neck joint, and we're at the point where I say, you can buy replacement neck joints at jibbychopshop.com. Then with a little snap, we're back in action. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe for more, and as always, happy chopping.